For this particular video, we're going to present some calculus operations in ASMath Studio. The, um, we're going to use this particular ASMath Studio file, actually, the date is way wrong. Yeah, it's March 23, 2021. We have a, a number of functions. The differentiation function is a symbolic derivative. The differentiation function with nth derivative. And integration, which is a, a, just to produce an expression, it does not produce a definite integral. I, I need to clarify that. All the integration that we get in SMA Studio are numeric. Then we have a, actually for producing a numerical integral, the Jacobian function, that we're going to explain what that is. And then we also have a product and summations. This simply produces the expression of the summation, and this will actually calculate a summation. These six, seven, six, uh, eight functions will be demonstrated next. Here, there is a, an ex a calculation of a derivative. I'm going to remove it temporarily, and then type in a, in a mathematical entry what is indicated in there in the, in the bracket. So put diff x cubed space bar plus 2 times x squared space bar minus 3x plus 5 comma x and then you do control dot. And so it does a symbolic derivation for you and then it puts it in this format which is a format um, appropriate for programming purposes, um, you can expand this and, and obtain the, the full expression, but that's the limitations of these symbolic derivatives in SMAS Studio. In the, in the second case, we're going to delete that and, and demonstrate the differentiation. You type d, uh, diff comma x squared space bar times ln of parentheses x space bar space bar plus 1 over x space bar comma sorry and then put x comma 2 control dot again it's a symbolic result and it will be shown in that ex uh, um, expression and then you have to do the algebra uh, it's it's um, um, it's my studio it's not a symbolic result so it's not a symbolic software so it's not going to give you that symbolic expression if you want to, for the purpose of um, documenting a, 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 a homework or some other um, presentation, if you want to type an, a simple integral, a simple uh, indefinite integral without producing the symbolic result, you could type like this, int, int x times cosine of x, space bar, space bar to get this, integrand comma x and that's what you get now this click over here if you try to do control dot all what you're going to do is repeat the same thing and then do a control z to return if you if you type the equal sign you're going to get something that hasn't been defined because um it's not a it's not a definite integral so you cannot get a numerical result out of that you could get a numerical result if you if you provide some numerical limits to a definite integral. For example, if you say int t times ln of t space bar comma t comma two comma five, you are providing the integrals. I mean the limits of integration. And this one, if you do equal sign, they give you the result. You can do a control z here. Click to the right of t and do control dot. Uh, the symbolic result here is actually a fraction, but it's equivalent to that fraction that we had earlier. If I delete this right-hand side and do the equal sign, I get that result. Uh, this integral here, it's one that uses pi as a, as a, in the limits. So we type int 1 divided by 1 plus x squared, um, comma x, comma p, control G to give me pi, divided by 6, comma, P, control G, divided by, well, it's going to give me a 0. I'm going to try 3 here. 
Uh, actually, this should be a three. <coughs> It says, um, you can use symbolic limits in the definite integral, but the integral will not evaluate symbolically. For example, let's try that. I in T, parenthesis, X divided by SQRT, 1 plus X squared, space bar, space bar, space bar, comma X, comma A, comma B. So that produces an expression for this symbolic integral. But doing control equal will give me just a repetition of that integral. What is the Jacobian of a function? It's, it has to do with partial derivatives. So this is kind, kind of like uh, advanced calculus. Partial derivatives, we're going to, since we don't have the partial derivative symbol in SMA Studio, we're going to use this old notation where f is a function and the subindex x means the derivative with respect to x. And this is the derivative with respect to y. So suppose that we have a function of n um, variables, x1, x2, up to xn, and, the, and there's this, this function f of x is actually a vector function where each component here represents actually a function of the vector x or the function of x1, x2, xn. And so basically this collection of functions, this vector, is going to actually expand out this way. Well, the Jacobian of the functions f1, f2, fn with respect to the variables x1, x2, xn, which is written in mathematically this way, is just a matrix where here you have the, the, the partial derivative of f1 with respect to x1, f1 with respect to x2, until reaching f1 with respect to xn, then you go for f2 with respect to x1, f2 with respect to x2, and so on, until you reach fn with respect to xn. So it's a square match. And to illustrate the use of, of the Jacobian, which is useful in, in solving num numerical equations with many variables, I'm going to produce a function here, f of x. Now, this function f of x, the variables x1, x2, and x3 are actually elements of the vector x. And so to type this x vector, I'm going to do it over here. You type x colon, control M to produce a matrix with three rows and one column. And then you type x bracket one, just to ensure that the subindices are represented properly. x bracket two, x opening bracket 3. And that's how this x here gets defined. I'm going to delete this one. And then to define the function, you will have here is the the idea behind this um, typing. I'm going to move everything to the right here. And then I'm going to retype this function f of x. Um, space bar, column, and then control M, three rows, tab one, column, insert, and then here I'm going to say X, bracket one, space bar, raised to the square, plus X, bracket two, space bar, raised to the two, um, space bar, plus X, bracket three, space bar, raised to the second power. And that's how we're going to create the second one, x bracket 1, space bar times x bracket 2, space bar times x bracket 3. And the last one is 1 plus x bracket 1, space bar times parenthesis x bracket 2, space bar plus x bracket 3, space bar, space bar, space bar, plus x bracket 2, space bar times x bracket 3. That's how this function gets typed. Okay, so we have the function and we have the, in the independent variables. And then to calculate the Jacobian, you would type Jacob, parenthesis f of x, space bar, comma, x. Uh, I'm saying x is not defined. Oh, of course. 
when I try to use the equal sign, I'm trying to produce a numerical result, and I don't have a numerical result. I have to use control dot. And when you do control dot, then you get your symbolic result, which is what we're looking for. And that is the Jacobian of that. Uh, another use of the Jacobian is when the transformation of double integrals, and for example, in the conversion of Cartesian, uh, of polar to Cartesian coordinates, we use this uh, to uh, a vector two component, where this is the the first component, the x value of the uh, conversion, and this is the y value. Uh, although we're not going to get confused with this x, actually I'm going to change it. this to x x and change this to x x two. And so the independent values are r theta, and the Jacobian is this matrix. The determinant of the Jacobian, we do it here by using, I actually have that J defined right there. If I say J, I mean J control dot, I'm sorry, control dot, I get that result. And then the, the determinant, I can go to this function and type the big J in there, say equal, strike control dot. R times one, which is R, and so this is typically an integral of area in in polar coordinates is calculated using R d R d theta. Products and sums and sums are not too complicated. You can use the function product or sum, and or you can you can actually borrow from here. There's the summation. There's the product. Uh, follow these examples right here. I'm going to try this one right here. Product k square space bar k comma one. I mean comma k comma one comma five. It's just going to. I'm sorry. Equal sign. It's going to give me the summation. Or you can click on the product uh, symbol here and type k square. And click over here and type K, and then type one here and five here, and equal. And the summations are similarly. For example, this. Let's do it over here. Sum one over K square, space bar comma K, comma one comma five, equals. Or simply click over here. One over K square. K equal one to five equal. So that's the summations. I'm going to delete these things and show you some exercises proposed for you to try using what you learn in this particular video. Um, I invite you to pause the videos and try these examples in your own SMAT Studio file. And this way we finish this video. Um, some calculus operations.